Sipai, can you please sum up, sum up the game for us? Bugün İngilizce konuşacağız nasıl kalsın. Bugün e, çok önemli bir galibiyet tabii ki. E, bu kadar eksikliğe rağmen e, takım çok gerçekten çok iyi mücadele etti. Sonunda kazanıp kazanmamız önemli değildi ama bu mücadele gerçekten e, Beşiktaş'a yakışır bir şekilde oldu. Today was a really really important and big win for us. We had a lot of missing players but uh, it was next man up mentality and everybody put in their best effort. It didn't matter if we won or lost but uh, win was also really nice. Ee, onun dışında şimdi e, be, evimizde bir maç oynayacağız. E, bence seriyi bitirebileceğimizi düşünüyorum. E, taraftarlarımızın desteğiyle de e, ikinci turu da, yani diğer tura atlayacağımızı düşünüyorum. Now we will play them at home next week uh, with our fans uh, behind us. I think uh, we have a really good chance of uh, making it to the top 16. Son olarak da bu atmosferde oynamak gerçekten e, çok güzeldi. E, Holon şu ana kadar gördüğüm en iyi taraftarlardan biri. And lastly, uh, playing in this atmosphere was also amazing. Uh, Holon has uh, one of the best fan bases I have ever seen. Yes. Uh, congratulations on the win. Um, how did you guys overcome not having so many key players with you today? Obviously, you could say it, and every it's next man up, but so difficult, especially away, to be able to have the the mental ability to take the victory. Uh, we are. Okay. <laughs> we are a group of guys that knows to play basketball. That's the most important thing in uh, this type of the games. You know, when you missing so many players, when you play as a knowing basketball and uh, with uh, seeing what defense gives you, uh, you always can be in a, in a game. And and after that depends of your uh, field goal makes. If you make shots or missing. That's what matters, end of the game. But if you know the basketball and you play it, you try to play in the right way, uh, you will be able to be in a game in this in this uh, kind of situations. One more question also. Isaiah Whitehead scored obviously the big basket at the end, but he really, in the second half, I think, scored 16 points for you guys. It was very, very big. How important was his contribution to you guys? Uh, I, he's one of the best scorers in uh, in this Champions League. Uh, he can do many things, and as a two guard, as a shooting guard, he's was one of the strongest I can say uh, to match up. So uh, he's been doing this last couple season. So you always you can expect uh, from him to go crazy in the second half. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Coach, can you sum up the game for us, please? Şimdi, öncelikle e, Holon takımın taraftarlarını çok tebrik ediyorum. E, müthiş bir taraftarları var. Takımlarına çok da büyük destek verdiler. E, maça gelince buraya çok sorunlu geldik. Çok eksiklerle geldik. Ama e, bu eksiklikler bizi daha fazla güçlendirdi. Güçlendirdi. E, bugün herkesin maksimum kapasitesiyle oynamadan kazanamayacağını biliyorduk. Ve buraya gelip sürekli olarak oyunu kontrol altında tutmaya çalıştık. İlk devreye çok ucum bir bantı verip e, rakibe çok fazla top kullandırdık. O yüzden e, ama oyunun her yerinde çok iyi savunma yaptığını söyleyebilirim. Sadece ilk yer... Firstly, uh, I would like to say before opening my statement that Holon has uh, one of the best, best fan bases I have ever seen. Uh, the atmosphere was really nice tonight. Uh, coming to the game, uh, we know we had some missing players, but uh, overall Uh, defensively, uh, we were great and we stuck with our game plan throughout the game. We didn't uh, get off discipline and uh, uh, we were able to pull them in. İlk devre rakip bizden daha fazla ofensif rebound almış bizim savunma reboundumuzdan. First half, uh, the, our opponent got more offensive rebounds than our defensive rebounds. Devrede hatalarımızı konuştuk. 
ikinci devre için nelere dikkat edeceğimiz konusunda uyarıları yaptık. E, Fol problemlerine rağmen oyun, oyuncuları da iyi kullandığımızı düşünüyorum. E, oyunun sonunda kazanmayı başardık. Bu tip maçlarda şans faktörü önemli. E, biz bir hafta önce Türkiye Ligi'nde buna benzer maç uzatmada kaybettik. E, ama daha henüz sadece bir adım attık. E, i̇çeride kazanarak e, bu turu geçmek istiyoruz. Uh, in at half time we talked about the few, a few things in the locker room and in the second half although we had a lot of uh, guys in foul trouble uh, we were able to play as a team and get the win in these type of games uh, uh, luck plays also a factor uh, last week against uh, Darushafaka we lost the game like this but uh, we, uh, we the job is not done yet we have the second game at our gym uh, we want to win and advance to the top 16 Congratulations, coach, on the win. How important is it to have uh, two players, uh, Sipai, who was just here, and Isaiah Whitehead, who really took the game on his shoulders near the end and scored the winning basket, 16 points in the second half for you? Uh, Isaiah Whitehead and Kenan Sipai gibi two tane iyi topu yönlendiricinin olması sizin için ne kadar önemli? İkinci yarıda Isaiah uh, takımı hücumda sırtladı. Kenan da bütün maç boyunca uh, müthiş yönetti takımı. Tabii şimdi iki tane topa hakim olan oyuncu olduğu zaman oyunu deplasmanla kontrol ediyorsunuz. If you have two really good ball handlers, you can control the game and away games. Ve sonuçta ne zaman nerede topun biteceğine doğru kararlar veriyorlar. They also make good decisions on where the ball will end up with. Hem kendi adlarına hem takım arkadaşları adına. For them or and for their teammates. Yani aslında burada buraya gelirken çok. Önemli üç oyuncumuzdan eksik geldik dört oyuncumuzdan. We were here with four missing players that were in our rotation. Yani ona rağmen e, özellikle e, oyuna sonradan giren Yağız e, 15 yaşında. But in spite of that one of our players Yağız who is 15. De, diğer oyuncu 16 yaşında. And Ozan who is 16. Yani böyle bir e, şampiyonlar ligi maçında deplasmanda böyle bir atmosferde e, çok e, dirayetli oynadılar. They played really, really tough in an atmosphere like this in basketball Champions League uh, playing game. Geçen sene e, biz çok genç bir takımdık ve NBA oyuncu verdik. Last week we were a really young team and we gave NBA a player. Ve Euroleague çok oyuncu verdik geçen sene. And we gave Euroleague some players as well. Bu oyuncular da zaman içerisinde bu kapasitede olmalarını bekliyoruz yani. I expect them, these players, to do the same in the future. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Excellent win. Really What? You see the You saw that the, the, the, the replay was an offensive foul when the guy nearly shot. The last call. Ah. Oh, no, so one, uh, one winner shot. You, s you don't know? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Are you all ready? Well, coach, can you sum up the game for us, please? Uh, one tough loss. One tough loss, and uh, you know when we come back at the end of the first half, the game story was a clear, a low score. First one uh, was important for us, keeping the same defensive effort to try for one better execution. Because the last two three minutes, the score is on the way, but we play a little bit frustrated on the. An offense because no score because uh, and really missing a couple stop and uh, about execution we have to learn those skip steps on offense sometimes too because uh, first one when the, the game uh, is close and in BCL like in the league too but the game is always close it's a little bit better like a flow You just lost, but this is serious. So what you guys have to improve uh, towards the second one? Uh, now we have to we have to work f 
first one for the, ne the next game. It's a domestic league game, most important at home. And uh, we have to work for this game. That uh, is uh, in the middle of the longer preparation for the game, too. Because we have just one choice and one way. We win on the road, you know. We can. Surely we have to learn from this uh, game for the next. Uh, really just in one box. And uh, try to give uh, the best and better than today. Like they win here, we can win on the road. It's the same story. Coach, can you explain the decision to have Guy Panini take out the floor and, and not uh, get an open shot for him at the end? No, no, I just to ask because I don't see it. And for the last offense, uh, was a one score. One perfect three-point shot score. I, I just ask you about the offensive foul because I have to see, but I was curious. Because the ref was close to me, uh, more, close than, more close than me, sorry. So probably... He can see, but I don't want to talk about the last because it was a good shot, because it was a one score. Uh, but uh, during the game, we can be better on execution. We have never lost the uh, defensive effort uh, uh, because frustrated on offense, uh, because uh, two, three times we come back uh, very well. Needs just one stop. This game are close. It's not 10 or 15 or 20 because every time is one comeback. So for both parts, you know, so we have to learn. Coach, um, the Shiktas came here without a number of their key players. Did that maybe play a factor in the, the players being a little complacent and thinking this was going to be an easier game because some of these guys weren't going to be here? I think that everyone gives something more but uh, from both sides is no the absence is no important you know are not important they it's a different game and when when uh, they will play with more players it will be another game with another story so it's no one point for me i can say just congratulations for this win on my and our opponents Coach Adam Smith, who's sitting next to you, had his best game for now in Cologne. How happy were you with that? Yeah, score? a lot, a lot, because it's, a, it's a maybe the first game, you know, for, the, for one step up. And I'm happy because they create re shooting, uh, responsible on the floor, uh, always, because always in the previous game, too, uh, defensive effort, most important when we play small. So like this week, uh, he can and we can better, better every game. Can I can leave it, please? Thank you. Um, what went wrong for you tonight? You know, it was a basketball game. It was a playoff type game. Both teams made big plays down the stretch. Um, you know, we can sit here and talk about what went wrong, but, you know, I think down the stretch we made some huge plays. Even the offensive call that we got, I think God made that three as well. <laughs> you know, so, you know, credit goes to them, though. Isaiah Whitehead made an amazing play at the end, and sometimes that happens. Like I said, we made some big plays down the stretch, and then we got it down to 1.8 seconds, and, you know, it's, it's a small amount of time. What are you guys going to have to do going into enemy territory in Besiktas to uh, take the win there? Because it's, this is it. It's do or die at this just point. Just stay hungry and stay together. You know, um, We'll go back and, and, and look at this game and see what we could do better. But um, like Coach said, we have a very important game coming up in the domestic league. You know, We play hard, win that. And then we can carry some momentum into, um, into Besiktas next week. How did you feel yourself today? You really took a lot on your shoulders, especially in the last quarter. Would have been the MVP should Cologne would have won probably, but mm -hmm. you really looked, uh, a, you know, really part of the team. Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy going to one new team in the middle of the season. I think I've been here, what, going on three weeks tomorrow. So, 
you know, it just takes some time. I feel comfortable. I've been feeling more comfortable every day with the team, even in practice. Um, they believe in me, man. They've been really supportive, um, you know, helping me get acclimated to them. And, um, yeah, I just felt comfortable out there, man. How is it playing under coach Maurizio Buscaglia? Um, it's, it's exciting because, you know, he gets us really fired up, man, to, to play and win every game. You know, um, the result might not go the way we want it to, but he has us ready to fight every single match. And that's exciting in itself. Thanks a lot, man. Thank, Thank you, guys. Good luck. Thank you.